Alright, so I'm coming home on the bus, you know, on the you know, mass transit New York bus. And I'm just, you know, doing what I do. And then I see these two ladies get on, these two Caucasian ladies. They look like tourists. And, you know, one of the ladies swipes a Metro card. So they seem like they wasn't from around the way. And the bus driver looks back to him and says, hey, you know, what are you doing? So the lady goes back, swipes the card again. You know, this is a New York City Metro card, you know, mass transit. So it's one ride, one swipe for those that don't know. So the lady swipes a card, sits down, says, I'm sorry to the bus driver. So I'm sitting there looking at this because I'm a couple of seats behind. And I say, oh, wow, that's good. You know, this is something, an actual example that people, you know, don't, you know, it's something they don't get. You know, being wrong versus actually being sorry. Being sorry is an unintended consequence. Something happens, you're truly sorry. As opposed to being wrong if you cheat on your taxes or your spouse or things of that nature. Because what happens is, you know, folks will do something and really the only thing they're really sorry about is the fact that they got caught. You know, on a side note, I saw some Hasidic Jews playing basketball in the projects. That threw me off, but that has nothing to do with this. You know, you see a lot of things on the bus ride. But the point was that I'm saying is a lot of people don't realize that when you're truly sorry about something, it is an unintended consequence. I don't like when people misconstrue the two. You know, they say, okay, well, I'm sorry for something that I meant to do. If you did it, you meant to do it. You know, the best thing to say is if you did something wrong, is that I was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. Let me work to change it as opposed to saying I'm sorry just to appease somebody. And that's what I always think is wrong, you know. You know. So that's how that's how that works and that was my story, you know. I had to share that.